Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a get ready with me kind of chit chat video and yeah that's all that's all there is so uh, I apologize in the beginning because this is gonna be a long video <laughs> because you know I like to make them long and all you need is coffee. So today I am gonna meet up with my friend Hannah. She recently moved back from England and I'm super happy because in Stockholm like like four or five of my closest friends here they moved away so I'm super happy that she's back. I still have two people in actually in London that I want to get back here. You know who you are. So yeah but I'm gonna I'm gonna meet up with her because we have this thing that we need to do and then maybe I thought that since the weather is quite nice there might be some balcony action. Let's get started. Also to get this uh, video a bit more chit chatting I went ahead and got on Tumblr to get one of those you know 25 question tags because I thought that maybe you guys would like to know something about me more than what products I use. So I'm having my phone down here also, so during this video I might answer some questions. So first off I'm gonna prime my face with the usual primer. It's the Becca First Light Primer and I take like one or two pumps of this and spread it across my face. And I don't know if you can tell in the video but my body is slightly darker than my face and it's because I did again use some fake tan. I'm really hooked to this fake tan thing because I am usually super super pale but now when I colored my hair blonde I feel that it suits me better to have like a little tan feeling. Hmm? Yes. After the primer I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way and I usually use the Snow but now I also have the Natural Beige and I kind of mix them together to get the perfect shade. So I take a little bit of the light one and then I'm taking like half, half a pump of the darker one and I'm mixing them just on the back of my hand and then I kind of like do a color check like this. Yeah, so I thought I was gonna start with the first question and that is if I have any pets and yes and no. Uh, I don't have any pets in Stockholm where I live now because I live in an apartment um, but where I come from, like my mom has two dogs, they're called Kiwi and Vilda. They are two Norwegian uh, greyhounds or elk hounds. They are super super cute and I for sure if you scroll down my Instagram or something you'll find lots of pictures of them because they are so cute and fluffy. Uh, so Vilda is, I think she's four and Kiwi is like one year old now and my parents are hunters, yes, um, and they use them for hunting so it's a little bit weird since I'm vegan and all but yeah. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> Next concealer, and it's also the Born This Way, and this is the Very Fair, and I'm gonna put a little bit underneath the eyes and work that out with a... Uh, I'll never remember the name of this. It's the 109 brush from MAC. <laughs> so I have a little friend over here, a little spots that I don't like. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over with the next question. I'll, I'm gonna put the phone here I think. So question number two. Name three things that are physically close to you. Well, my camera, <laughs> um, my coffee cup, and all the makeup right here on the table. So after that I'm gonna set my face with some translucent powder with my O2 brush from NYX. It's the same brush that I always use and you know this by now. So 
I'm gonna jump on to the next question. What's the weather like right now? The weather is actually nice. Uh, we've had a couple of rain, rainy, rainy days here in Stockholm these last couple of days, but they've also been really, really warm and it's like, it's nice to be outside, but it's not super, super hot yet. But I'm dreadful. I don't like the summer. I'm an autumn and spring person because I'm, I don't really particularly like warm weather <laughs> because I, I don't like to be like warm and sweaty. I prefer cold, cold weather. Can you say that? Yeah. Yes, I would. I think that I was supposed to be like more up north. But my, my dad is from the north of Sweden, so maybe that's why, like, I'm genetically built to be way up there. So the foundation and concealer are set with some powder. I'm gonna go in with the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D. And I always, like, I only use these two shades, which are the uh, Levitation and Subconscious one. And also for that I'm using the brush that came with the palette. Well, it didn't came with the palette, it came like on the side, but they are supposed to be together. <laughs> and I'm just gonna dip slightly into the darker shade and start contouring out a bit of cheekbones. So I have the next question for you here, and it's if you drive, do you drive? If so, have you ever crashed? And yes, I do actually drive. I have a driver's license and I have a car which is mint green and it's super cute. It's an Opel, uh, Opel Kosha. I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, it's a small car. It's from 2001 and I bought it when I was, I think I was 19 when I bought it because in my old town, my friends were living like outside of the city and I had three jobs at the time. So I needed to get like from point A to point B and maybe some point, times like a point C, super fast. Uh, so yes, I have a car. Uh, I, am, I haven't crashed with the car, but I did hit a deer once. And it was like, it's one of the most, it's one of the most horrific moments of my life. Um, I was driving with my friend Amanda, we've, we've had, like, we just left our friend Emma, we have had, we, we were watching like a movie and eating some pizza, and then we, like, we always stayed like super late, this was like maybe 2.30 in the morning, and we were gonna go home to Amanda's place and sleep there, and there is this roundabout where you have to choose if you want to go to the highway or to the smaller road. And I always take the smaller road because it's actually a shortcut. And we were meeting a car when I exit the roundabout and I put my like lights on and there was this deer standing on the other side of the road. And it was facing like, you know, I'm gonna walk out to the meadow not the I'm gonna jump in front of your car, but it did. It turned around and I stepped on the brakes. I was not even driving. I think I was up in like 30 or 40 kilometers per hour and I stepped on the brakes, but you know, both me and my friend, we, we realized that we're not gonna be able to stop. It's gonna be, we're gonna crash now. So we crashed with the deer and I remember everything so clearly, the sound, the everything and we hit the lights on the left side, no, right side of the car, hit the body of the deer and yeah, we had to call like the police and everything it, and it died after like 20 minutes. So yeah, that was the crash. Let's leave that sad topic and move into the bronzing part. I'm gonna use the Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced as well and if you haven't tried these yet, they smell. Awesome. Everything from Too Faced smells amazing. <laughs> one of the parts that I like, one of the reasons I buy them is that because of the smell. They smell super good. Let's move on to the next question. Question five. What time did you wake up this morning? Well, that's, that's a boring question. I woke up at 9.30. It is now 10.47.
Next up, I'm gonna use the Stargazer highlighter from Melt. I've been obsessed with this ever since I got them in the mail. I did get all three of them, um, but I haven't really tried the other two ones. Maybe if I get a little bit more tanned or maybe on somebody else. So I'm gonna take the fluffier side of the Anastasia, no, not Anastasia, of the Kat Von D brush and apply that on the high points of my face. So now it's time for blush, and today I'm going to be using the blush all day, it's uh, from MAC. It is one of my very like first blushes, as you can see, it's pretty worn down, I've hit the pan, that was a long time ago, and it's, yeah, it's just like one of my favorite blushes. It's like really soft and subtle, but it has an effect. I'm gonna go refill my coffee because I noticed it's empty. So I'll be right back. Refilled. I don't know what I would have done without coffee. It's like the holy beverage. The but let's get back to the makeup. Uh, I'm also gonna go in with the Light and Shade palette again and use my Head Little 103 brush from Makeup Store and fix the dots of my face, which you all know that I like to do. And I like to just make them appear again. Does anybody else ref like mark their birthmarks again, like fill them? If you do, please comment it down below so I don't think that I'm so alone and crazy for doing this. And also my little friend here keeps showing up. I'm gonna add some on the neck as well because I'm planning on having an open outfit today. Yes, and also don't forget these here and here. Do, 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 do. Shall we take the next question, maybe? So, what does your last text message say? It says. Get in touch when you know. <laughs> it's mom, my friend Sophia and we are actually gonna go and buy a mirror for her because she moved into our other friend Pietra's house and they're trying to get some furniture and I'm actually just gonna reply to this and say I'll call you soon. So for those who don't know, my birthday was two days ago, because today it's Monday 12th of June, and my birthday was the 10th of June, and I turned 25, so now I am halfway to 50. Depressing. <laughs> so let's continue with the makeup. I'm gonna start with the eyes. Nope, with the brows. I'm sorry. I'm gonna start with the brows. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different today because I have been growing my brows out. I found that the benefit to give me brow actually works really well. So I'm gonna actually, this is something that I really, really love. So I'm gonna have my trusty little hand mirror down here and I'm gonna use two shades of the Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade and it's the Ash Brown and Taupe. They are slightly different in color and I'm gonna put them on my hand and mix them together and I'm gonna use a angled brush to create straws, like single strands, I mean strands of hair. So this is really creating a mess, but I don't, I don't care. So maybe I should zoom in for this. So what I like to do, can you see from this angle? Yeah, I think so. So what I like to do is that I go underneath and I just kind of create some strands of hair. And I like them to be looking a bit more natural than usual. Oh, what's this little hair doing here? Can you see where I'm facing down? Maybe I could be. Hmm. I hope you can see 
see what I'm doing. Time will tell. So I'm gonna read the next question. And do you like sushi? Yes, I love sushi. Sushi is one of my favorite foods just because I think the variation is nice. And since I'm vegan, I all like I don't I only eat the vegetable ones. My favorite is the avocado bites, and I also like the rolls with carrots and tofu. And the sweet tofu, like small hats, are also really nice. So I like to fill it in like a little bushier than normal and just brush my hair up. So I went ahead and checked the previous clip and you couldn't see that much of my eyebrows because I was facing down too much all the time. So I'm just going to do this other brow with a normal angle. <laughs> you know, I'm new at this. So it's going to be some problematic like problems in the beginning I think but yeah I just kind of paint new straws on the eyebrows and I need to close the jars of the so mm -mm -mm. shall we take another question while I do the other brow maybe so where do you buy your groceries I buy my groceries at the supermarket we have so di many different ones here in Sweden but I prefer to go to Ica which is uh, one of the bigger ones. They're not like they're not the, the cheapest ones. They can be actually pretty expensive, but it's where I live. The Ica has a lot of vegan options that the other ones don't have. And also, I like to go to Good Store, which is a all vegan store in the city center. Uh, they are pretty expensive, but I hope with time it's gonna be more like common with vegan stores, so the price will go down when there's more of those stores. How many siblings do you have? I have one sibling, his name is Philip, and he is two years younger than me, so he's my baby brother, but he's taller than me, <laughs> so he's not that small. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes, and I'm gonna prep them with the paint jelly paint pot. I'm just gonna use my finger for this. As usual, next question is, do you wear contacts or glasses? Uh, no, I don't. I, I am supposed to wear glasses. Uh, well, I'm, I'm supposed to wear something because my eyesight is really bad on long distance. But I have a problem with my corneas, is that they are pointy, not rounded, which makes my eyes not uh, accept... They don't accept the... Um, lenses at all so because the oxygen will be cut off I don't know how but it's yes that's why I have really red veins in my eyes all the time if you ever noticed that uh, I'm gonna go in with the Lime Crime Venus 2 palette and I'm gonna use the mustard eyeshadow because that's my also like recent obsession which I always talk about in my videos are my obsessions I love the mustardy colored eyeshadows uh, because I think they look great they complement my eye color as well and my eye color is blue slash green. Uh, it, it varies, it shifts. They were super blue when I was younger, but now they are more like a combo. And I'm using the 224 brush from MAC for this look. I just love this color. Don't you just love this color? It's super nice. I went ahead and did my eyes off camera just because this video is getting long enough as it is. <laughs> so I just put the mustard eyeshadow also underneath the eyes and now I'm gonna go in with a NYX um, eye pencil in the faux blacks and this is the burnt sienna color and it's a little kind of burgundy brownish color and I'm just gonna mark the lash line a little bit because I am putting on some falsies. So maybe a question while we do this. Tell me something that... No, i am already told you what I'm doing today. When was the last time you cried? That's a... That's a sad... No, actually, I, I think I, I maybe cried a little bit of happiness on my birthday because my friend Sophia got me a freaking tree for my balcony. She knows I love plants more than life. 
and she got me a lemon tree that was like two meters tall and I have it on my balcony now so that made me cry from joy I think that's enough also do you prefer hamburger or cheeseburger well uh, I prefer a vegan cheeseburger because I love melted cheese but if I have to choose, well, like one dish that I would eat my entire life, it would be Pad Thai. I love Thai food. I love everything. Like, I love all the Asian cuisine, if you know what I mean. And also, if you hear anything in the background, it's my neighbors and the construction people that are still here. They're still building. There's a lot of things still going on. We are kind of like at war with the landlords right now. Because there's a lot of things. But yeah, um, for mascara, I'm gonna use the Extended Play Lash Mascara from MAC. It looks like this. The question, the last question here is, can you taste the difference between Pepsi and Coke? Yes, I can. I think that Coke is much nicer in the taste, but if I have to choose, I prefer to drink Trocadillo. It's a Swedish beverage, it's from up north, and it's, um, oh no! Mascara! <laughs> I'm gonna take that away later. Uh, it's, um, I don't know what you can call it, it's kind of a fruity drink, it's dark, it almost looks like beer in color. Um, it's like a, it's not a traditional soda in Sweden, it's a, it's a Swedish soda. It's really good. Oh no, I'm such a mascara mess up. I always make huge dots when I do mascara. While I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna go in with the lips and today, prime with the Anastasia primer. And I'm going for this kind of brown look today, so I'm gonna go in with the uh, Lime Crime Buffy liquid lipstick and step down from MAC. And I'm gonna start by lining the edges of my lip. And for you who follow me on Instagram, you know that I like to make the lips a little bit bigger than they are, so I'm going to do that today as well. And I always start at the bottom. And I go to the sides. Oh, can you see what I'm doing? Yes. And like there, there's not a huge difference, but I have like a really my upper lip is smaller than my lower lip, so I like to make it a little bit poofier, fluffy, fluffier than the uh, lower lip. This is so pretty! I forgot that I I have so many lime crime lipsticks because they used to they used to like give me stuff. Uh, they don't anymore though. Why is that lime crime? Hmm. Oh. The smell. The smell is so nice. The smell is super. So I accidentally forgot to press record when I attached my eyelashes and I'm using the Ono Lash in the 102 and they are my favorite eyelashes but they are getting super used now. They are getting a little bit like clumpy and I need to get new ones but I love them because they're long and spreading like fluffiness and they have so many variations of foam, foam ink lashes. They are, the bands are really thin, they're really easy to use and I, I love them so much. But yeah, so this is the final look and I'm also, this is my new kind of favorite hair do. Um, just because my bangs are still growing out and they're a little bit too short to have a purpose, <laughs> to have any kind of function for my face. So I like to throw it up in a bun. It's also really pleasant for summer because it is quite warm. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below on ideas what you want to see for my next video. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Bye!